So now Brian Stelter, this reliable anti-Trump crusader on CNN who actually thinks he's reporting the news, he actually thinks he's telling the whole story, he has Andrew Sullivan. Does anybody remember Andrew Sullivan? Andrew Sullivan had this big blog, and the thing was, he was he was supposed to be a gay conservative, and only that's only half true. I mean, he is gay, but he's not a conservative. And Brian Stelter, and he's selling the same thing to Brian Stelter. He wrote an article saying that Trump was unbalanced, and he, you know, he talked about the murder rate, and the murder rate wasn't what he said it was, and he's obviously a congenital liar, and he is mentally unbalanced. And Stelter's question is, gee, why isn't everybody reporting this? That's, that's big news that the president's crazy. So listen to this. But you're taking it a couple of steps further by questioning his mental stability. And I wonder why you think that's not being said more often on television or in columns like your own. Do you feel like you're a bit alone on this issue? And if so, why? Well, I think others are picking up on it. Certainly, if you're not on camera or not writing, people are talking about this all the time. I think sometimes you want to assume that there is a rationality at the center of our entire republic, that there is someone who can listen to reason, who can see an empirical fact, who can distinguish between an opinion and a fact, between what he wants to be true and what is true. And, and sometimes we don't want to say that in public. We can't. But look, we're journalists and we're trying to understand what's happening. And if we don't just simply say what's in front of our eyes, what use are we? Yes, what use are we? Now, this is the guy, Andrew Sullivan, who, when Sarah Palin had her baby Trigg, this guy went nuts trying to prove that Trigg Palin was not Sarah's son but was her daughter's son, and she was actually the grandmother, and they were covering up this illegitimate child. He went full bore, 100 percent, to the wall, out of his mind, trying to prove this with charts. And, you know, they made fun of him that he was doing a chart of, like, a womb and how this worked. Listen to him with uh, Joy Behar giving this conspiracy theory. There are so many bizarre questions, including this extraordinary story of the, the, the birth of Trigg, which is... On any, on any basis, extraordinarily hard to believe the way she's told it. Maybe there is some truth there that we don't fully know. Or well, she's what has she said? The how, what do you mean, the way she's told it? She gave birth you to just the baby? Don't, you just don't behave that way. No one behaves that way. Which way? No one has, <laughs> no one is eight months pregnant, thousands of miles away from home, as mm -hmm. she says, in a hotel room in Dallas. Oh, yes. With a special needs child, wakes up both upright in bed, uh, has a strange sensation low in her belly and tells the Anchorage Daily News uh, that her water broke and doesn't go to the hospital. No one does that. Oh, that's a very interesting No point. one ever does that, let alone then give a speech. In her own book, she says she gives a speech while she's having contractions. I say. She tells a joke in the speech. She says, big laughs, more contractions. Is no one investigating this? The, the, no, she's no. getting a pass on a lot of things. The mainstream media didn't do any investigations of the plausibility of this story. I mean, is no one invested? She's getting a pass on having, by the way, Salon, credit where credit is due, so thoroughly debunked this conspiracy theory. I mean, everybody had seen that she was pregnant. Everybody knew she was pregnant. Everybody knew when she delivered. I mean, the whole thing was absolutely invented out of whole cloth from this man's sick imagination. This is crazy stuff. And now he's doing it again with Donald Trump. So now